costs. So dear students, we are going to start to discuss balance of payments. And first we will try to define balance of payment. And how can we define balance of payment? Balance of payment is the statistic of a country's inflows and outflows in a financial year. Or that at the deshe, ek artik bochore, I abong be bear je pore shonkan, shete holo balance of payment. Abar amre English tarak bad dekhi balance of payment is the statistic of inflows and outflows of a country in a financial year. একটা দেশের এক অর্থ বছরে সেই দেশে কি পরিমাণ ইনফ্লো হলো আয় হলো এবং কি পরিমাণ আউটফ্লো হলো সেই দেশ কি পরিমাণ ব্যয় করলো তার পরিসংখ্যানকে আমরা বলি ব্যালেন্স অফ পেমেন্ট অ্যাজ পার আওয়ার ট্যাক্সড ব্যালেন্স অফ পেমেন্ট ম্যাচেস ওল ফিনান্সিয়াল অ্যান্ড ইকোনমিক ট্রানজাকশনস ওভার এ স্পেসিফাইড পিরিয়ড অফ টাইম of a country. So when we talk about a company, we think about an organization. We know that organization has income and expenditure. So organization prepares their financial statement to present income and expenditure. Like this, all countries are bound to calculate their inflows and outflows to evaluate their progress. So this way, Bangladesh has also inflows and outflows. So these inflows and outflows can be presented using numbers. And we normally present inflows and outflows of a financial year. And for recording inflows and outflows, we follow double entry bookkeeping system where we have two parts, one is debit and credit. As a business student, you are very much familiar with debit and credit. So all inflows, especially uh, currency inflows, we considered as credit and all outflows, because we are talking about currency, we are talking about inflows and outflows, all currency outflows are considered as debit. So remember, all currency inflows are recorded as credit and all currency outflows are recorded as debits. So what's the example of currency inflows? Foreign exchange, on foreign exchange. So how can we get foreign exchange? When we involve in exports. When a country involves in exports, exports related with inflows. When we receive remittance from our people who live in abroad, so that is also inflows. And what are the outflows? When we import from other countries, we have to pay for imports. So that is related to outflows. So both inflows and outflows are recorded uh, in a statement, and that is uh, known as balance of payment so what's the summary again the first sentence balance of payment is the statistic of inflows and outflows of a country so these inflows and outflows are recorded under three major accounts one is known as current account second one is known as capital account and third one is known as official reserve account so see what do we say? How can we record? Three ways. Three ways. Three now, what are the name of the accounts? Current account. Current account. account, 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 account capital account. account. Official reserve account. Current account, capital account, and official reserve account. Now we see what are the components of current account? What components uh, we record under current account? So current account records net flow of goods, services, and unilateral transfer. 
Now see, current account records net flow of goods. So why it is net flow of goods? Because we export goods, we also import goods. So when we export goods, that is inflow. When we import goods, that is outflow. So net flow of goods means the difference between inflows and outflows, the differences of exports and imports. That is our net flow. If our exports is more than imports, that means we have net inflow. If our export is less than imports, then we have net outflow. Outflow will be more than inflows. Same, we import services, we also export services. Our doctors, engineers, uh, our skilled people and our skilled people are working all over the world and they are, are, are sending remittance to us. So we are also exporting services. Our consultancy firms are giving services to many countries. And these we also, we are taking services from other countries, uh, uh, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and many other people are providing their services in Bangladesh. So this way we are also importers and exporters of services and current account records and net flow of goods net flow of services and what is unilateral transfer sometimes uh, because of the emergency or because of the special needs one country helps another country so some transfers happen between uh, countries that is known as a unilateral transfer so these kind of uh, transactions are recorded in current account then what are the elements and components of capital account? So capital account is basically related to long-term investment, long-term lending. You know that Bangladesh is taking loan from World Bank, IMF, JICA, ADV, and many from many other countries. So we are taking loan for long time. So this is one kind of inflows, but this loan uh, is used as capital. Also, foreign direct investments are available in Bangladesh. Many countries they're investing in Bangladesh uh, as a foreign direct investor. Many multinational companies are investing in Bangladesh. So same way, we are also investing in other countries. Our brag is operating in Africa. Our brag is operating in uh, uh, Afghanistan. And moreover, some of our companies are doing cultivation in uh, Africa. So these way, uh, we are also receiving investment, we are borrowing money, we are also investing in other countries and we are lending money. So here also long-term inflows and outflows uh, 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 remain. So these kind of inflows and outflows in terms of investment and lending uh, are recorded uh, under capital account. So here, how can we record? You know that inflows are credits and outflows are debits. The transactions, within capital account can be divided uh, uh, or can be classified as portfolio, direct, short term. Portfolio, why? Because you know that some companies are investing in Bangladesh uh, as a portfolio, like they're investing in garments, they're investing in textile, they're investing in other sectors as well. And, 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 and they are investing uh, through sharing process. That means we have our cement, our, our steel, uh, companies and the foreign companies are also investing with us and another one is direct so they are not making partnership they are not sharing shares they are investing directly they are setting their factories companies in Bangladesh and operating their business and another one is short term sometimes they're coming here for a short time capital investment or they are sending machineries to Bangladesh as support machineries is one kind of capital investment so this way uh, we consider capital account. And that third one is official reserve account. You know that we have a recorded reserve. We are, we are famous now because of recorded reserve. So what reserve account basically uh, does, you know that we have exports and imports and this way we can calculate current account balance, uh, the difference between exports and imports. And then we have capital flows like foreign direct investment in Bangladesh, and we have foreign direct investment is abroad. So there is a difference and we have some balances. 
So the net balance between current net balance of current account and net balance of capital account will be transferred to official reserve account. How it is? If uh, if we have opening balance of our reserve account, that is already the reserve what we have. This reserve will be will will, will be increased by the net positive differences of current account and capital account, or this reserve will decline by net deficit of the balance of current account and capital account. So we have three accounts. Again, one is current account, another one is capital account, and third one is official reserve account. Consisting all these three accounts, we record balance of payment. So balance of payment is the statistic of inflows and outflows, financial inflows and outflows of a country in a financial year.